Flawless Afternoon BFFs. I am Dr. Rowena Joy Vita Bayoyong of Flawless CSI the City Mall Dagupan. Welcome to another episode of Flawless, the experts on acne. Today, I will be debunking five myths about acne. I hope you'll enjoy and learn a lot about acne after today's online session. This is one of the most common questions that we encounter in our practice as skin professionals. Toothpaste may contain antibacterial ingredients or drying ingredients which may cause pimples to dry out. However, the product is intended for our, for our teeth and not our skin. Using it as a home remedy fix for acne can possibly cause more skin problems such as redness, irritation, or even burn. Food per se or food itself does not cause breakouts or acne. Acne is caused by a bacteria known as Propionibacterium acnes, which resides in the hair follicles of our skin. It feeds on fatty substances or sebum produced by the sebaceous glands in our skin. When the bacterium itself finds itself trapped in airless, oily conditions like those in our hair follicles, it can trigger inflammation. In relation to food, studies have shown that high glycemic index food can cause sebum production and promote inflammatory responses which can lead to acne. High glycemic index foods are your sugary foods such as refined grains, starches, white bread, white rice, or your carbohydrate-rich foods. Contrary to the belief that only teenagers get the nasty zits, adults do get acne too. It affects both men and women, young and adults alike. Blame it on our testosterone. Yes, you heard it right, ladies. We also have testosterone, but in lesser amounts. Men produce more testosterone than women. That is why they have thicker and oilier skin. The production of sebum or oil is higher among males because their sebaceous glands are more active from the testosterone. And this can lead to clogged pores causing acne. Several factors are also considered aside from age and gender which includes genetics or hereditary, hormonal like in puberty, pregnancy, or if the patient is a female and she has polycystic ovarian syndrome. As the saying goes, haste make waste. If you have this habit of popping your pimples, you are doing more harm than good to your skin. This can lead to scarring or even worsening of your acne. The recommended treatment should be done in a skin clinic by skin professionals. Actually, it is more of finding the right acne-specific products best suited for your acne-prone skin. Depending on your skin type and the type of acne that you have, if your acne is mild, moderate, or severe. Acne control products may contain any of the following active ingredients. To mention a few, we have salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, sulfur, retinoic acid, and tea tree oil. This is why it is of utmost importance to have your skin checked by skin professionals. That's about it, BFFs. Thank you for watching today's episode. But before we end this video, I would like to invite you to visit any of our flawless clinics nearest you. The consultation in our clinics is free. Just visit us anytime or book an appointment online or via text. Once again, this is Dr. Rowena Joy Vita Bayoyong of Flawless CSI The City Mall, Dagupan. Have a fab and flawless day.